Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Hello everyone, we're back for the NBA Playoffs, and right back here, it's another Eastern Conference Playoffs of the third game. This is now the time to bring things in the matchup series as Milwaukee Bucks play against the Cleveland Cavaliers in Cleveland, Ohio for the third game. Right now the Bucks of the series have 2-0 run to hit the deck on the board. Of course they did because of Giannis Antetokounmpo, Drew Holiday and also Chris Middleton, they really have dominated their work way up. They are pushing their way in the effort and pulled up here from the game. And if you're all tuning in to the real game of NBA Playoffs, you can watch it anytime now on, M on TNT, ABC, ESPN, or on NBA TV. All these TV series are, are even hooked up your cable devices from every location you watch. You will be seeing how there are players of your team do for the postseason of the game. From playoffs to finals, except for the Eastern and Western Conference Championship game. Well, I might be in a switch off lane, but not to say about this one, it's time for the next one to come in handy. Cleveland Cavs haven't won the games in the uh, series yet. Will they be on the board, or will it be Milwaukee Bucks with the extension lead of 3-0? Let's take you here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio to start the presentation of the Eastern Conference Playoffs. Let the games begin. With a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they are here at Cleveland, and there is the first energy stadium right over there on the left, where the Browns play, but now, I think the Browns and all the team, including a new team replacement of Cleveland Guardians. Yeah, they've released a new team, but it's all they had. And here's a look of Giannis Antetokounmpo. 29 points, 9 is the pointing average, and his average is 5.8. The last 30 days was only picked up 21. But I think this season is turning out great because of all they have here, they have dominated it again. And just about ready to go as we take you from Alley the Force. Alley? Hey, Brian, you could say the Alley is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're all effort out there. Thank you. And right now, the group of this lineup is turning out to be just one and anybody can ever play. The Greek Freak. And marking it, it's your key matchup here for the starting lineups of Game 3. Also with the other player that turned out to be Darius Garland. And without Colin Sexton and Jared Allen, they might be ready to hustle their way on the board to get started. Milwaukee wins the tip off and we start in Cleveland, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's Giannis Antetokounmpo, only had made two of his best run here in games one and two in Milwaukee. But now he might be stepping in for game three if they wanted to make their way in again. They will have to let them know if they really wanted to get things right in the game. Here's Markkanen. Backing over is Garland. With a two release bit, it's good for Darius Garland. He has his first bucket in game three, and they all need to let me know. They'll let him know for Darius Garland, because that's what they need to know the pressure. Liebert making a good D as Darius Garland picks it up the other way. Now he just shot to Levert. Back up and over is Mobley. Back to Markkinen. Back to Levert. Three for Okoro. Good! He fires it across. Makes it the first three point of the game. What a show on the run for Okoro. That's what this play turned out to be the first part in game three. Wow, the fence is putting up here on Mobley. And it's marking him with the ball. You can hear the want one thing in the background that they already got to pull it out just like they did. Levert. 
Back over to Garland. They jump across, and it's another attacker as Darius Garland. He has his second bucket of the night. Just to be outstanding bull of the game. They know they can definitely do that with a much better pace. But now for that, they don't know what to carry if they want to bring it all together. Middleton scores the drive as this will now be wound up to be a trail by three for Milwaukee. First bucket for Chris Middleton. Garland finds Okoro. Back to Garland. Back over to Levert. Levert shuffled the move right back to marketing. Backing over is Okoro. Shoots it up for the Middleton. Levert for two. Good. That's a fade off shot. But that might be painful enough if it goes out of bounds. It's close enough, but now they already got their, their pushing boards up underway. Mobley, get that ball away from me! What a nice day. That's two in a row for Evan Mobley, and they are working their way around a bit. Nice D for Evan Mobley. Just really got pulled up of that for a bit. Okoro back to Mobley. Over Bobby Portis, and that's good. Two points here for turned out to be Evan Mobley. And with an assist, turned out to be going on with another run by Coro. Two minutes left here for the first quarter. Porter Jr. making a layup drive, and they are back to bring it up. They're just going to need to try to work it around a bit, but they need to look for another player to get right by it. That may not be all of them if they wanted to go from here. Cavs lead by five. Okoro back to Garland. Back is over as Levert. Fade, find Mobley, inside, in and out. Ida Cooper with the first rebound, and now it's Allen with the ball. He makes a great drive that goes up with a two-point score for Allen. After Sunday with the loss at Cleveland already, it was only 44% and 18 wasn't able to pick up here for regular season. But the most of all for away seasons, we're in up here just a bit, bit offshore. Levert making a great drive here and it's four points for Levert. Last minute left here in the first period as Milwaukee will call time here with under a minute to go. And the Cavs fans definitely have just gotten a great solution to start their run of the journey. And just to think about what their player has done with all the out there with a, with a tight muscling in the move, your take for, for Cleveland was putting up just a lot of strength out there. Since 2018, they have already got crushed all the players, including the Boston Celtics here in the Eastern Conference Finals. How does it usually take to beat a better player to make it all the way through the angle at the same time? Well, I'm pretty sure that the Cleveland is doing a lot more uh, defensive work here, and sometimes the other players definitely need to make their work on a, on a hijack run. Sometimes it gets very tough out of the way, but not anybody can definitely try to work it around a bit. Get right into the other lane. Some new changes here for Cleveland and Milwaukee as Nawara is checked in. All four players are checked out, and four players are checked in, except for Drew Holiday. Holiday in off the bound. Brooke Lopez makes a reverse layup and gets the first rebound of the game. First rebound, first drive, and a bucket for Brooke Lopez. Just got, just got a great start here for his run of the night. Brown back to Roshan Rondo. Rondo right to Stevens. Stevens right to Osmond. Osman going back to Stevens, five to shoot. Finds Osman, great smash look over, and it's Stevens with the first assist. Osman's got his first look of appearance. He is on the board. He really gotten a better into it than he had played here before. Lopez against Brown, 20 seconds to play in the first period. Ade against Rondo. Obaka against Love. Try to stop the pressure. Holiday with a three. No luck. Love with the rebound. Rondo will close it off for the first quarter. 
It's 15 to 10. Cleveland up by five. And we'll be right back with the second quarter after this. This turned out to be just one time, but all you know is Evan Mobley with the block of the game. physical with me, tried to hit me, um, knocked down to the floor. Parachuca to keep my composure. I think I have a great teammate that always talk to me and uh, tell me and uh, stay focused, stay in the game. You know, I know that I'm going to get a lot of contact and uh, I'm just ready for it. He's absorbing him out of the game, but something that's this great, great of pressure that's been turning out to be the release from here for Milwaukee Bucks and he has already got played out here. Sometimes it might be very tough for him to give him the best of a lot. We start off with the second quarter as Love will take it from here. Rondo to Stevens. New Aura with a better play on D. Rondo with a try pursuit and he makes it in there. First bucket turns out to be Rojan Rondo. And Cavs lead by seven. They're all on the bow. That's what they have totally did need to know. But they have gotten better. If there's a great drive in the play, that's all they have broke. Screen on Ibaka. Five to shoot for the for the for the shot clock. Ibaka for three. Rebound it again. And that's a miss by Milwaukee. Not a great shooter at that point. They need to know that truth. Wow. Kevin Love. He's like a he's like a rustling on a land. And he is just like a land crusher. Now it's a holiday. After the dunk by Kevin Love. The two points release as Drew Holiday picks up his first bucket in for the third game. This game is definitely like hard on impact that they have turned around the other way. But not to pursue his, his way, it really turned out just like he did. Rondo back to Stevens, back to Love. Just five to shoot. Osmond over Connaughton. Rebound by Browns, and he puts it back in there. Brown has gotten his first rebound and his first bucket. Him in one and one. He's all alone, not really wanting to go from his plan, but he really wants to take his own rebound. And nobody else has picked up a rebound. All players on him, and that's what they did. Connaughton reaching a number two bucket, and they are just pulling it back in strength. The first timeout is called by Cleveland with 3.02 left to play. And if you're sticking around here for the next game for the NBA playoffs, we got a next, the next major game coming up as this will be the fourth seed against the fifth seed. It'll be underway here shortly here for the Sixers and the Bulls at, Cle at Chicago, Illinois. But this risk run could definitely be no doubt for that one. If they win, on the target move. Yeah, some of the players definitely really have gotten a much better pace at that point. That's why they have a lot of average here to try to work their way around. Not anybody really wants to like head off the target. They really want to go for another win. Some changes for Cleveland and for Milwaukee as Mobley is checked back in for the players of those teams. And checking out the standing of Grayson Allen, he seems getting a little bit strong at that point for a free point in season. Not anybody really wants to go right into it, but that's what they need to know. They have really trying to get right through it. Yeah, Grayson Allen, now all it turns out to be for him, that was, that was his problem. But not just like him, there might be anybody else that might go for a season run. Revert, free point, connects. And it's another three-pointer for Cleveland. They take their one with no doubt on that one. Wow, LeBert just gotten a lot of like strong move out there. And that's when they know that they all miss on Jared Allen, but that's all what Karis LeBert can do. Giannis fights back. Rebounded is off. And it goes right to Mobley. Mobley has receiving another rebound here this game. This time he gets two. Okoro right back to Garland. Mobley, overhead by Markkinen. With the shot, rebounded by Anandokounmpo. Matthews in transition to between the left side, and it's now putting up a Bob B. Portis Jr. 
assist by Wesley Matthews. Wesley Matthews have really gotten a great, great play so far here back in a couple of games. But all it turns out, it was very hard for him to pick up a setup. Allen all alone. He goes in. Rechecks away. That's a great D here for Darius Garland. And they will have to pick up underway to try to finish their run in the first half. Okoro right back over to Mobley. Right to Okoro. Mobley with the elbow screen. Shot good and a little bit of two pointers off Mobley. And it's Garland with the assist. Nice play here for Garland. Now he's just all talking for one thing at a time. Just got better at that point. Middleton on Okoro. Back to Matthews, in the corner, screen on Portis, and his offense turned to be a blocking foul on LeVert. Now one more block here for Evan Mobley of Mobile One Block Highlight. Mobile One puts up an Evan Mobley. He was able to try to stop the attacker from scoring inside. That's what he had pulled up here. Nice play for Evan Mobley. That's two blocks for him. Here's Allen against Garland. Ida Kupo against Marketing. Inside, he goes right in, feeds, makes a shot. And it's Ida Kupo with the first transition to go for, for game three in the game. This season has always turned out to be just one impact on the road. But not just like, uh, like him, there might be other players that might be getting right around it. Lover back to Garland. Fades, right to Markkinen, with the fade off shot, get off of here, and Markkinen scores. Wow, Ivan Kubo got tricked up already, a Greek freak can't be losing the streak if they wanted to go big here from the highlight. Allen against Garland, Allen with the force drive, Markkinen denies. Levert with the ball, back to Okoro. Right over to Levert. Ten seconds to play in the first half. Levert, right to Okoro. Five seconds. Mobley for two. Short. Rebound. Levert makes it in. It's Levert with the layup drive. And this crazy game of game three has come to a first half closure. It's 30 to 18. We'll be right back after this message. What a play this turned out for Cleveland, but let's have their recap look for the third game of Bucks and Clavaliers. Our statistics are updated. That is it for today. Let's send you back over to Quick Getting Loans to the Rocky Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland to start the second half. And we welcome you back here in Cleveland, Ohio, as we're about to set things off in the third quarter, 30 to 18. We all care about for Darius Garland, but it was Karis LeBert that called him up here for the show. Yeah, of course, that Karis LeVert always have picking up his strong move. It might be his time to rise again. It may be on top on heavy, but they all need to know that his player has done the best that they can. We're about to start now as we are glad to make you can join us here for the game. As we are about to start the off of the third quarter to run. Mobley gets his third bucket of this game. And now it's 32-18 lead for Cavaliers. Holiday against Garland. Back to Adekumpo. He goes in, trying to work around. Rebound by Boris Jr. And he's fouled. And that's a foul turn on Okoro. As Bobby Portis Jr. will head to the free throw line to shoot two. First team foul gives up on Cleveland. Cleveland not having a good run out there because that was a defensive mistake. That only turns out to be just on him that he did not want to make a slight mistake angle if they wanted to like to 
try to work our way around a bit. But that is no luck for them. And they need to try things again from the top. The first free throw for Portis Jr. is good. And Bobby Portis Jr. hasn't able to spoke up for his team that he really wants to like keep the Cavs here for to the Bucks with his contract of the game. And it could be very hard for him to try to try to answer it back, but there may not be an option if they wanted to pick him up on the run. I'm pretty sure that the, the players really need to work on their way to make the standout even get better. But I know that Cleveland have already got dominated a great performance run. With the first win of a regular season, after being turned out to be a shot out loss here for other seasons ago, it was very tough for them. They would have won against the Raptors, but it was very too soon. Three for Okoro. Good! That's outside the range! And Okoro is making the first three of the game. What a play this turned out, Drive. Okoro has got the first three. That's a great shot. For us again. Rebound is on Mobley. Evan Mobley receiving four rebounds this game. Here's Okoro back to Mobley. Now he's back to Okoro. Markkinen in the, in the paint. Back to Garland with that free throw shot inside the range. That's a number two pointer for Garland. And now he has six. Six points for Garland. Always come alive at that point. They are working on the dominated run in the rally range. Timeout call by Milwaukee with 3.22 left to play in the third quarter. It's 37-20. And you're telling me that the, that the players that they have their uh, resistance to try to try to make the attack come better. They've always known that they, they got the keys to make the skills make a, make a walk-off run. But I am not able to see how this play turns out by in between the Bucks and for the Cavaliers. It may be a lot of a lot of assuming to ask anything. It might be a, it might be a very tough run to make a runoff score even more tricky than they have here. Some changes for Milwaukee and for Cleveland Cavs. New changes be being released as Stevens comes back in, of course with Noora. Brooke Lopez and Pat Connaughton. Watch out! Connaughton scores the drive and nobody is on him. Yeah, he's all alone because of all how this play turned out. It wasn't enough smooth enough to like go into range in between the zones. It's very hard for them, but they really gotta show things off. Brown back to Rondo. Fade right over to Osmond. Over Connaughton. And once again, another miss turned out to beat Cavs. Again, no open shot made. It was very tricky to make a setup change. Now this all turned out to be just hard that they were looking for. Now he will dish off to Rondo. Rondo trying to work his way around the game. Boy, and here he comes! Rondo scores the drive, and this one's an open drive for Rajon Rondo. That's second bucket of the game. Rajon Rondo, just a great shot in between a rally force. It was a number one of a heck of a run. Fade off shot. Drew Holiday can't make the shot. Rebound picking up for Rajon Rondo. That'll be number one. Stevens overhead pass back to Rondo. Two minutes to remain in the third quarter. Stevens, back to Rondo. With the score drive, can't get it to go. It's another rebound by Holiday. Holiday right to Noah. On Stevens, back to Lopez. Screen on Middleton. No, no, Ibaka. Ibaka slammed it down. You better get out of the way because Ibaka is roaring from the paint. And a timeout is called by Cleveland Cavs. A minute and 35 to play here for the third quarter. It was like a little tough on a rank shot. 
Those players are definitely working up a bit. I'm pretty sure they are they are trying to make the make the attack even more even more uh, like hard. But they can't be uh, losing the the, uh, the ball here on that run. It can be tricky, but no questions asked. But easy concerns can also help them make them pay off from the other team. change up switch here for our Cavs. It will be another one for Brown to check out as Love is checked back in. Here's Love. Only scored for his first timing in the third game for two points. Rajon Rondo back to Love. Fade shot back to Mobley. Over again. Scores a drive. Eight points for Mobley. And Kevin Love makes the assist. No shack of mercy rule. That was Kevin Love for the first time for making the assist better and go alive. What a play. Connaughton in the paint. Elbow shot, no good. It's Osmond with the rebound. Osmond has received two rebounds this game. And comparison from Milwaukee and Cleveland, it was 14 picking up a good control on offense to defense. Defense to offense. It really does stand out the shot. Really did pay it off. Oh, he went right around him. Stevens got a great control. Pick. And at this shot was handed off perfectly. Nice job, well done. Stevens with the first bucket here in the game. Really done better. Oh, Nuora. He just answers back. It just didn't work out for for Stevens to try to try to knock down Nora on the ball attack. Yeah, he was too late. Not gonna be not gonna be good enough for him to try to pick it up. Ibaka almost took the turnover, but they still have the ball alive. Rondo to Love. Over Brook. He gets the nine. Brook Lopez with the block. Kyneton all of Jamie scores with the dunk. Dunking drive, no problem. But that was all. He was. He was shot and blind again. Third quarter has come to a close, and it's now 43-28. The Cavs are looking for the win here in the first game. We'll see how they're running after they put up here for the Eastern Conference first round playoffs. We'll be right back after this message. And checking out for Mike Wunholzer with the Cap Coach. And Mike Budenholzer would have gotten lucky enough that they would have helped the players out here on offense. But that is just no angle on a look. They wanted to give it all. Holiday in the driving paint. And they're just coming back in here for the fourth quarter to make a comeback rally. They do have comebacks rallies in between. But who will it be? Well, it's going to be in between the determination of the, to be continued here for the first round of the playoffs. Levert. Back over to Okoro, six to shoot now. Over Abaka, over Middleton, I'm sorry. But there's no shot chance here for, for Cleveland to pick up a number two. Holiday against Garland. Over on the Kupo, around Okoro. I'll never miss by Milwaukee. And on the Kupo can't make the, can't make the fade off roll to try to work his run. That's a hard impact. In between his own, it's picking up a lot of defensive pressure, but not just like him. They've all had defensive breakdowns. Marketing, great pass here for, for, you know, I don't know what to say. I forgot what the player is. Um, is it, um, is it, uh, is it a Koro? I don't know. I, I, I can't even, I, I can't even think about it, but I, I kept on forgetting. Kupo makes a free, makes a, makes a free, and he has that number two down. Those two down on boards really know their answer. They really wanted to pick it up. They move it off to Garland. This off to Okoro, and that was him with the assist. Okoro with a deep three. 
and it won't be enough. It was very early, and now we're down to approach three minutes here in a third game. Looks like the Bucks are going to try to work their way around. Here they come. There it is. There it is. That was Ida Kupo. Yeah, that slammed down out there. He's going to have a fight. But now this all run turns out to be just like he did before. Love back to Okoro. Back to Love. Love inside. That drive for Love is good. Now another basket for Love. And it won't be a number two pointer to release. And the assist is changing up differently. Portis Jr. on the other hand gets a dunk. The Cavs are rocking it so hard, but the Bucks have already wanted to stop the pressure here and try to fear the deer to make a runoff pay. Back to Love. On Portis Jr. Back to Coro. Two minutes to remain in the fourth quarter. Lavert in a roundabout again. Three pointer can't connect. Anakupo with the ball. Back to Holiday. Garland in pressure. Screen on Portis Jr. Over again. And another safety. Bobby Portis Jr. picks up his first first uh, first points here. And now this will be another pointer for Bobby Portis as the assist goes by Ana Kupo. They have already got determinated on this game. Not just all for him, for himself, but Ana Kupo, he really got better into it. Markkinen scores the drive, and this was now a six-point average in the third game. Markkinen's score has just, like, just got nice and technique in the game. Most of all, for his play, I think he might be going for it Ana Kupo can't make the shot, and this is round again, as this will call to be a timeout, and now Love will have some timeout, as they will talk it over here. We're just, on, we're just approaching to a minute left in the fourth quarter. I'm pretty sure that Love and all the players really want to like get right in the game. But we are unsure if they are going to try to work their way around a bit and try to like come up with the attack. It may be very hard, but nobody got ever dominated out there. They've already got crushed. A lot of defensive D breakdowns here on the Cavs and Milwaukee on the Bucks. But then it really doesn't turn out to be just them. It was all of everybody, uh, all the teams that wanted to uh, try to like get an open pass from the middle or from the or from the box corner. It might be a little bit tough work out there. In between the zones, you may not have anybody to try to be able to handle the coach for the refs and for the uh, teams for themselves. Now it's time to present the New Balance player of the game as this player from game three goes to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. Always had the uh, timing bite. Four points, two out of nine, and 18.1. That brings him up from here. Now here's a Coro as we approach down to a minute left. Garland to Bobley. With the shot release, rebounded by Portis Jr. Well, Drew Holiday, there is a chance here. I think that was probably Portis Jr. I think that was him, so I could be right. You might be right. It may be hard enough to go from here. Allen for three. No good. Releases up. Mobley picking up five rebounds for this game. He is definitely doing really well and playing here for offense and for defense. Mobley back to marketing. Back to Mobley. With a two. Shot in and out. Allen with a rebound. Last possession for Milwaukee. And it's slipped out. Garland with the ball. And it's LeBert as they finish the third game of the series. It's 2-1. 49-38 to is your final score. It was all that push-up underway with the player of the land of LeBert. LeBert, well done. All the play turns out to be just for him. And now for the Cavs, they will have to work their way around here in Game 4 in Cleveland. And that's going to be it for today, folks. With the, with the terminating of the run, it was all that worked out hard. Cleveland in the series, it's 2-1 still. Bucks lead 
in the playoff series of the first round. It was all it took from here from Evan, Evan Mobley with the block and Marketing with the block. It's all turning out fantastic. Now it's time to present the three star players of the game. Number three, we all have turned out just like he did before, but Evan Mobley with two blocks get the ball back and they already are denying a shot just like they did here before. Eight points, five rebounds, and one assist. Just got a great piece of it. Let's head off to number two as you, son of beast, you will start from here. Number two, it was Bobby Portis Jr. Ten points, three rebounds of that game. But this won't be turning enough to be on hard on impacts course. But Oz does have it all from his timing range to try to work on their run. Just one dunk performance and for time on his run. Now for number one, Meat Phone. That has all turned out to be just like him. But it looks like Karis LeVert was going to able to try to work that way down. But my prediction was wrong. It was not Karis LeVert. This time it was always picking up the, a lot of pacing out there. That was number two for him. But this was number one for Bobby Portis Jr. So my prediction was wrong. I'm so sorry. I... I Accents uh, gives, accidents happens, but that's how their leading score has changed up to it and dominating effort. And that will be it here for Cleveland, Ohio, of Cavs and Bucks. The next game will be happening back here at Eastern Conference for the Bulls to face against the Sixers at Chicago in the United Center. Right now the Bulls are in the lead of 2-0. Will they have another chance to take a 3-0? Find out. Uh, the next time of the NBA 2K22 of the NBA playoffs. Peace out, everyone, for as a while as the NBA playoffs and for the amazing transition out in between the zones of NBA 2K22 highlight dial. And me with me phone. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs. Check out other games that you would like to see from game one and two. And for Game 3, it will be reduced here after the Game 3 matchups are complete before we head to Game 4. So it's time now to head out and thank you for watching for this game. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye.